Hello everyone, this is the Project Gallery with 33 datasets and 33 project ideas. I've already done the heavy lifting for you in the sense that I came up with unique projects, I framed the business problem, came up with the sub-questions, gave you the dataset, real-life datasets with KPIs, calculated metrics, what insights and recommendations you should focus on. So I'm going to use three examples, three datasets, three project ideas, and I'm going to walk you through how you can utilize all of this information inside of this specific project gallery. So you can see that these are the datasets across three domains, which is going to be healthcare, marketing, and finance, as you can see here, and I split them up into customer and people analytics. And then we have financial analytics. And then we also have operational analytics. So let me pick a project, for example, I'll pick marketing right here. And this is the market basket analysis using retail transactions. So the data set is going to be coming from UCI, the UCI machine learning repository, you can just download the data set. And then let me walk you through now how you should utilize the information inside of this page. The tools I recommend would be SQL Tableau plus Python, but then you can use Power BI as well if you want to. And the project difficulty for this one is medium. So I have three difficulty levels, easy, medium and hard. And this marketing project happens to be, in my opinion, a medium level project. So first of all, I start every project with the problem framing and the business question. So this is the clear problem statement I came up with for you, which products are frequently purchased together and how can we use these patterns to create product bundles and cross sell recommendations that increase average order value or AOV, a super popular metric inside of the marketing domain. Then I break this problem statement down for you into five sub questions. So size, rank, explain, compare and recommend. This is the method I use. It rolls off the tongue, I just say SRECKER. Size, rank, explain, compare and recommend. And these are very specific questions. So what is the average basket size? Which product pairs have the most repeated purchase rates? What drives customers to buy specific products together. How do purchase patterns vary by country or time period? And then which five product bundles should we create to maximize AOV, average order value? Now, next up, we move on to data requirements and gathering. So I give you all of the KPIs you need, and then I give you the field mapping as well. So this is literally the field mapping for the data set. If you don't even know the data set you're working with, how can you even analyze that data, right? And then we move on to calculated metrics. Here you go. I give you the exact, uh, well, in this case, uh, SQL query for this one. And uh, then the tools you should use, which in this case, um, I think you should just download the Excel file, then convert it into a CSV, import it into BigQuery or whatever SQL editor of your choice. This can be Postgres, SQL, SQL Lite. I like BigQuery because it's in the cloud. You don't have to download anything, it works in your browser, though it definitely works better in Chrome than any other browser I've tested before. It is free in the sense that you get up to 10 projects for free, I believe, um, so you don't have to pay for anything. And then at the end, I would utilize Tableau or Power BI to visualize my insights. And then data analysis, I always use the same five step, five stage approach. So explore, profile, clean, and then shape and then analyze the data. And I give you pretty specific instructions here. So for example, under profiling data, basket size distribution is something you should definitely look at. Definitely look at most frequently purchased products. Definitely look at revenue distribution by product. Definitely look at order frequency by day of the week or by the hour or both. And then at the end, you have the presentation bit. So I would use Tableau or Power BI. I prefer Tableau because it's easy to share and I learned Tableau first. So I like Tableau a little bit more than Power VI, but it doesn't really matter at all. And then I give you frameworks um, to focus on in terms of insights to highlight and the recommendations you should come up with. And I give you exact examples of how you could do this. Let me come out of this marketing project under customer and people analytics. And let's open up a finance project under financial analytics. There we go. So this is the stock market historical data and the data we'll be using will be stock market data. And I give you the data right here. So you can click on these links and then you can just get the 
data set for yourself. Um, again, you can see that I have the tools, the recommended tools, SQL, Tableau, or Python that I would use. Again, you can use Power BI for your visualizations or something else. You could even do it in Excel or Google Sheets if that's what you prefer. The project difficulty for this one is medium as well. And then we start with the problem framing and the business questions, of course. If you don't know why you're doing data analysis, then you don't know what you're doing, in my opinion. So how can we analyze historical stock performance to identify volatility patterns and correlations to give the best investment decisions? And I broke this problem statement down again into five sub questions using the Srecker method, size, rank, explain, compare, and recommend. Then you have your data, and then you have instructions on how to gather your data, the KPIs you'll need, and then let's move on to the calculated metrics. Again, I give you all of these, and then tools. So Excel, SQL, Tableau, or Power BI, and then the five-stage data analysis approach, explore, profile, clean, shape, and then analyze at the end. And I give you exactly what you need to analyze, for example. So volatility comparison, rank the stocks by average monthly volatility. Correlation analysis, compare the stocks, price movements, do tech stocks move together, for example. Volume patterns, identify unusual volume spikes. You could look at sector performance as well, compare average returns by the sector. So let's say there's a tech sector and an automotive sector or a manufacturing sector, and you could compare sector performance, risk and return profile. You could plot the volatility versus the average return. That's something you could focus on. And then these are the dashboards that I would build, and these are the key insights I would focus on, and then the recommendations I would focus on. So this was the finance project under financial analytics with medium difficulty. And then let's pick one more. Let's pick operational analytics. Healthcare is the domain or industry, and uh, this is the very hard project, actually. So Medicare spending, Medicare drug spending between 2019 and 2023, real life data. You can see it comes from data.cms.gov. So this is real life data. And again, we use the same methodology. We frame the business problem first with the business questions. We have sub questions, we have five. And this time I used a little bit different method, size, price, mix, outliers, and growth to identify my sub questions. But again, everything will tie back to this main problem statement that I have, which is where are Medicare drug costs rising fastest and which manufacturers and products are driving the growth. Then you have your data requirements and field mappings. I give you the KPIs you need to calculate. So let me pick one year on year change and 2018 to 2023 CAGR in price per dose unit. Then five stage data analysis, I'm going to sound like a broken record, explore, profile, clean, shape, and analyze. And then finally, the presentation bit. So you have 33 data sets with 33 project ideas, where I've already defined what you need to solve, you just need to go away and solve it. So you do need to do the technical bits. But uh, I think this is a very good start for anyone who wants to build a very strong portfolio with unique data sets, unique projects, and data analysis projects that actually tackle real life problems. I really hope you like everything inside of this project gallery.